Guys, today I'm going to show you how to trim a V-shaped beard. How you can get yours just like mine, if that's what you want. And I'm assuming since you clicked on this video, that is what you want. Now, I like my beard just long enough to where it's dense enough that you can't see the skin through the beard. That's how I prefer it. Even on the sides, you really can't see it too much. I also like to have the hair wrap around underneath. From the sides of going all the way underneath the chin like that I think it's a nice look I think it just it just it's a cons nice consistent neatly wrapped package when you do that I don't like chin strap beards and I just can't imagine trying to keep up with shaving all that underneath there all the time anyway I don't as you can see I don't like it on the neck you do when you have a really big beard and I've had a really big beard I've had it down to here before I got tired of the maintenance this is very low maintenance it's still nice and neat. I went to a barber when I first had a big beard and I wanted to cut down. I said, I want a V-shape like a ducktail. And here's what he did. He left my beard too long and he cut this sharp angle into my beard. That's too sharp. That's not natural. I like a natural look. A natural look is more like this. You see the difference between this and this? All right. Now, my hair wasn't out to here at the sides, but you, you see what I'm saying. This is a more of a natural look. So here's what you do. You, I went out and got myself a pair of wall trimmers from Target. The whole set cost like 25 bucks. It wasn't the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive. It was like the middle of the range. And so it's electric, you know, you, it's not cordless. That's probably why it was as cheap as it was. But um, you have your, I had my wall trimmers. I, um, you had this option on the side to move the blade up and down. I like having the blade close to the edge so they get a nicer, cleaner cut. And what I do for mine, and you may want to start off with a bigger guard if you have a bigger beard. Um, you could even go smaller than what I've got, and I may do that in a couple weeks. But how I started off was I use a number three guard. Now I'm not going to actually going to trim my beard today because I've already done it like three days, three four days ago, and uh, I'll probably do it again in a couple weeks. But what I do is I put the number three guard on. And the flat part of this right here, this right here, you go down like this. You, you trim all the way down underneath the chin, all the way down, you know, down the neck, all the way down. Now, here's what you got to remember. Your chin has this line right here. On, a, on, on either side, on, you have two points on your chin, the borders right here. You only want to take this down to that point to that edge. You never want to go in that straight line area with this. But you go here, you go down, and you go here, you go down, and you continue to do the same thing all the way around. You don't go against the grain, you go with the grain. It has a nice, clean, natural cut. Just a number three. That's all I do. Just a number three all the way around. I even do the mustache that way. It takes off the bulk of the mustache. I, I You could even consider going to a number two of the mustache. The mustache grows very quick, and it's even if you mess up on the mustache, it grows back, back so fast that uh, it should be a matter of a couple days before you, it'll start looking right, and you can do you can change it, you can alter it. But I even do that the mustache. I trim down with the number three here. Now the only time I say so I don't I don't touch this right here at all. I just go to the edges of my chin, the two points on my chin right here. I cut this at this angle here down around here. And what it does is it follows the natural line of my face. The natural line of your face is a V. Alright? So you do that. Now the only time I use these on this right here is when I go straight down to cut off the all the strays in front. I just go down here, but I don't go in. I go down, I go down, and it cleans it up really nice if you can see. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it cleans that up and then, you know, I do that. I do that right there. What I do after that is I take these off, the guards off, and then I'll go underneath in case this under here has grown too much. I'll go underneath it and shave straight back, just straight back. But I don't touch this at all. You don't need to. Now, after that, what I do is I take the number two guards the number two guard and I put it on here and then I go to about this range about the 
almost the middle of the ear, about this, about this point right here, about this point right here in my ear. I take that and I just go up. This is when I do actually go against the grain. I just go up here, with number two, like that, real quick. Then I actually I take that off, and I go. I put a number one on, and I go about to the middle of the ear, right here, and I go up on both sides, here. Okay, that's number one. And I take the number one off, and I just have a bare trimmer. And then from about here on up, I just go up. And it's grown back a little bit now, it didn't take long. But I just go up here, that way it fades it in real nice. After that, what I do is I then look to see if there's any outlying hairs that I need to get. It's just a matter of cleaning up, but I mean, you have to be right on the fringe. Right on the fringe of your beard when you do this. You don't want to cut into the body. You want to stay away from it. Now, if, if you notice a difference in elevation in your beard because you've tried to fade it in, you know, you take your you take your trimmers like this, okay? Take your trimmers like this. You don't want to cut into it like this. You, know, you don't want to do this little number. You want to do you want to take your trimmer just like this, and just cut straight down. But I mean, it's just got to be right. It's got to be so you got to be so careful when you do that, okay? And that's it. And then you you keep going in here to get just the very just the ones that are just hanging out. I mean, you're just barely hitting anything at all when you do this, and that's a trick. So that's how I cut my V-shaped beard. Now, if you're wondering how I get this angle on my my beard right here, what I do is I don't use any kind of device. Let me get this a little wet. I usually use conditioner, but I'm just going to get this a little wet. All right. There. I take my razor. If you're if you're if you're not used to having a beard line, you might want to actually use the electric trimmers. Kind of cut one into it to begin with, even if you mess it up, because it might be real thick. But if you if you're used to having a beard line, but you want to start cutting one yourself, and you've always had a barber do it, you can take your razor, and what I do is I cut this down here first. Okay. I cut this first. I don't go up and down. I might I might hit this a little bit. So I'm not actually going all the way down to my line. But I, I get this right beside my nose. Right here. And I cut down to the mustache. And I actually use my razor length to establish my beard line. And how I do that is I take this like this. I go, I'm going to go up like this. I take the edge of this razor right here, put it against my nose, put it against the mustache like this, I take my hand and I point it up toward the middle of my ear. Alright? And I just go up. And I curve it up. I do that about three times. And then I take my razor without moving my hand. Now I've got my angle. I've got my line. Do the same thing to the other side. Turn this back like this. Put the edge of the razor up against my nose. I make this. I point this pinky towards the middle of my ear. And I just shave up and curve it upwards. The side burns. Right, and then I just now I've got my line. That's how I do my line. It's real quick, real easy. Now, trimming your beard might take you a little bit longer than what I've showed you in this video, but it's quite that simple. And then I take beard oil. I've been using Pacinos lately. Pacinos, it's got the smoothest texture smoothest texture for for beard oil that I've ever experienced. Put a dime size amount in my, my palm, rub it around. Put in my beard really good. Alright. 
from the rest of it on my head. I comb through it, comb it down. All right, shape a little bit. I use beard balm. This is the best stuff ever. Oh man, it smells so good. Redwood. I take a little bit of beard balm. I'm not really picky about how much. I'm not concerned about if I use wood, whether you use too much or too little. Put it in there like that. Rub it around. Breaks down really fast. Apply it at the top. The rest of my head, my arms. I mean, when you wear this, when you wear, when you wear the best damn beard balm, you don't need cologne. It smells so good. I comb it through. I take a bristle brush, travel size. Straightens it out really good. Nice and shaped. There you go. And if you see, at that point, after you put beard balm on, if you see any strays just sticking straight out, you can take your scissors, go around and cut them out. Real easy. Cut the line of your neck, it's real easy. It's not real hard. You kind of have a natural line. You just, if you get any growth underneath there, you just go straight back to above your Adam's apple and just kind of, if your blade's long enough to where it's easy to, to kind of, it kind of creates its own line, just kind of going back up underneath the ear here. Same thing here. And then I take conditioner, rub it in real good, shave it, voila, done. That's it, guys. That's how I cut a V-shaped beard. I hope it helped. If you like the content, hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down below and I will answer them. All right. Catch you later. Bye-bye.